Morning all. All right, so we're starting off today with a career video on Tony Amonti, an American hockey player uh, who came along at about the right time where American players were really surging in their importance and in their number in the National Hockey League. Uh, so Tony Amonti drafted by the New York Rangers, number 68 pick in 1988, a team that absolutely was not shy about picking up American players. And so this looked like it was something that was going to work out. Uh, 1991, he makes his debut in the playoffs for the New York Rangers. Plays two games, gets his feet wet. No points there. 91-92, plays a full season with the New York Rangers. 79 games, 35 goals, 34 assists, 69 points. He ends up finishing second in the Calder voting that year in 13 playoff games. He has three goals, six assists for nine points. So the New York Rangers are considered a pretty good team, right? At this point, they're a pretty good team. They're not really getting over the top. The 1940 discussions are out there. 92-93 uh, for Amonti personally. He has a very good season. 83 games, 33 goals, 43 assists, 76 points. No sophomore jinx for him. So Amonti looks like he is part of a good young core for, for the New York Rangers. Uh, Doug Waite, Tony Amonti were both very good young players coming up for them. 93-94, plays 72 games for the New York Rangers, 16 goals, 22 assists, 38 points. So a struggle of a year for Amonti, right? Things aren't going very well. Uh, March 21st, they trade him. He is traded to the Chicago Blackhawks in exchange for Brian Noonan and Stefan Matteau, players who will follow uh, Mike Keenan around a bit. Uh, but it, it, it is interesting because Amonti's traded when he's having a down year to the Chicago Blackhawks months before the, the New York Rangers would win a Stanley Cup. With Chicago, he plays well. In seven games, a goal, three assists, four points. And then in the playoffs, he records four goals, two assists for six points in six games. 94-95, uh, his first full season in Chicago. 48 games played. Remember, it's a lockout shortened season, so 48 game season. 15 goals, 20 assists for 35 points. Played 16 playoff games as Chicago went on a bit of a run that year. Three goals, three assists for six points. 95-96 with Chicago still, 81 games, 31 goals, 32 assists for 63 points. In seven playoff games, he adds two goals and four assists. So we're into a pretty good pattern here with Amonti. You know what you're getting. You're not necessarily getting the flashiest player in the league or the best goal scorer, but he's very consistent. 96-97, 81 games played, 41 goals. So that's a career high for him to that stage. 36 assists and six or 77 points. Uh, in the playoffs, he records four goals, two assists for six points in six games. And he played in the All-Star game that year. So now he's really getting league-wide recognition. 97, 98, 82 games, 31 goals, 42 assists, 73 points. And he's in the All-Star game. The thing is, this is kind of a dark time for the Chicago Blackhawks organization. The late 90s, early 2000s. I mean, we talk a lot about the dynasty they would have in 2010, 2013, 2015 with those three cups. But they went through a lot to get there, and Amonti was there when a lot of that was going on. 98-99, 82 games, 44 goals, which is second overall in the NHL that year. 31 assists for 75 points, and again, he's in the All-Star game. 99-2000, uh, plays all 82 games again. 43 goals, which is third overall in the NHL. So two very good goal-scoring seasons for him. 41 assists and 84 points. Those 84 points were sixth overall in the NHL. And he gets into his fourth straight All-Star game for the Chicago Blackhawks. 2000-2001, uh, 82 games played. His goal scoring drops off a bit, 35 goals. The assists drop off by 12 to 29. The points, 64 points. He still goes to another All-Star game. 2001-2002, plays all 82 games yet again. Uh, 27 goals, 39 assists for 66 points. Chicago's back in the playoffs. He records one assist in the five playoff games. But he goes to market. He becomes a free agent. And as a free agent, on July 12th, he signs with the Phoenix. Now, of course, known as Arizona, but then the Phoenix Coyotes. And with the Coyotes, he has a decent enough season. 59 games, 13 goals, 23 assists, 36 points. But at the deadline, March 10th, they decide they're going to trade him. Uh, he is traded for a 2003 third-round pick, a 2004 second-round pick, which becomes uh, Dubinsky. And Guillaume Lefebvre, it goes the other way as well. So he goes to Philly, and in Philadelphia, plays 13 games after that trade. Seven goals, eight assists, 15 points. So he reaches the 20-goal mark, and he reaches the 50-point mark. And you can see that the scoring was back. In 13 playoff games, he has a goal to go with six assists for seven points. Then he has a full season in Philly in 03-04. 80 games played, reaches the 20-goal mark again. 
uh, to go with 33 assists for 53 points. In the playoffs, 18 games. So here's a Philadelphia team that goes on a bit of a run. He's with the Chicago team that went on a bit of a run. Same with, I, I guess, 13 games. Well, that's two rounds. Yeah, sure, with the Rangers. Uh, but three goals, five assists, eight points during that run for the Philadelphia Flyers, who then allow his contract to expire. And so he becomes a free agent. And we have the lockout wiped out season of 0405. So it is August of 2005 when he is signed. August 2nd, actually, by the Calgary Flames. He is uh, brought in by them. Obviously, they'd be looking for a 20-goal scorer. Uh, in 80 games played that first year, 0506 with the Calgary Flames, he records 14 goals, 28 assists, 42 points. So his points totals have dropped off. He's an important veteran to the Calgary Flames, however. In seven playoff games, he has two goals, one assist for three points. Uh, 06 07, he's still in Calgary for what would prove to be his final season in the NHL. 81 games played, 10 goals, 20 assists, 30 points. As the goal scoring and the point totals really drop off, in the playoffs, he records one assist in six games. He would retire in the fall following that season. So for Doni Amonti, it's a nice long career. 1,174 games played, 416 goals, which is still 91st on the all-time list, 484 assists, and an even 900 points. I do like it when somebody has an even number of points in their career in the playoffs 99 games played so almost 100 doesn't quite get the even number there 22 goals 33 assists 55 points reliable consistent very good for a very long time and a chicago blackhawk for a long time again during a period when the hawks were really struggling but amonti was not so we could ask the question of you know if he played on better teams might he have scored some more points and goals probably but he still had a very good career he ends up getting Olympic silver with Team USA in 2002. He also had a gold at the World Cup of Hockey in 1996. So overall, a solid career for Tony Amonti. And there you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.